today I want to talk about Just. If you don't know what Just is, well, first of all, it's a good video for you. And second of all, Just is awesome. Just is a similar to Makefile, but is designed to run commands and not build like Makefile. Um, Just has a very strong uh, community behind it. It's actively maintained and developed, and I add Just to almost every project. So let's look what it can do. You can install it using curl. Let's check the version 128. In order to create a Just file, you have to first set up a directory, and let's give it a go. We have a hello world tile just file. Let me add some syntax highlighting here. So it looks a little nicer. So what happens is we have a recipe named hello that executes command hello world. By default, just will always run first recipe in the file, similar to make file and we'll execute it using a default shell. So let's try it out. And we have first command output that is going to be run, and then the actual command value that is returned to the shell. Okay, let's look what else just can do. We can suppress commands. So you've seen that earlier we printed out the command itself and then the value. But if we add an at symbol, we can get rid of it. So the suppress command recipe only executed the echo command and the full command outputted both uh, the command itself and the value. Uh, just can also fail early. So we can add this recipe that is going to try and list a non existing folder. And when we execute it, you can see just returned code 2 and the uh, subsequent command was not executed. Recipes can have dependencies, similar to make again. We can have dependency recipe and dependent. When we run a dependent recipe, the first one that is being executed is this one, and then the dependent. So this enables us to put together a string of recipes that will be executed in sequence. We can also run multiple recipes from the command line. So in this case, we just run just and then the name of the recipe and they are also run in order. So far, we have seen that running just without any parameters is going to simply execute the first recipe, but we can influence it by adding a special kind of recipe called default. And in this case, we are going to edit and run just with the dash dash list parameter. What this is going to do when we run just, it will list all the recipes. And you can see here that on the right hand side of the recipe, uh, there is a text um, taken from the comment. So if you put comments on top of your recipes, you can actually see what they are for. All right, let's see how recipes look in more real life scenario. This is one of my projects. Uh, it's called Crossplane in a Box. Uh, if you happen to be interested in Crossplane on Cloud Native, you can go ahead and read the blog here. But otherwise, um, this is uh, just a um, introduction to Just File. When we run this Just File, you can see that there are various recipes. They are all um, with comments, so I know what they do. Uh, let's take a look at the file itself. So just file here, uh, first of all, we have settings. We can influence how recipes are executed or how just file works by specifying various settings. Export enables us to export all the variables as environmental variables, so they are later available in scripts, for example, that you might be calling from just. Or in this case, we also specify which shell and with which parameters should execute our recipes unless specified otherwise, because each recipe can have its own execution environment. Uh, for now, we are passing dash u and dash c flags. 
dash c flag is interesting. It enables us um, to execute commands that are specified as text. Basically, this block uh, is interesting. We're going to talk about this later. Uh, just has a lot of built in functions. Uh, here, for example, we are using function, just file directory, and appending to it another folder. So when I use it in um, actual recipes, like here, for example, I'm, call, I'm actually referencing variable apps uh, that happen to have a value of wherever the just file is located, flash uh, apps directory. That's quite useful. There's a lot more um, functions that you can use, but for now we are just using this. Um, another function that is really useful is detecting operating system. As you can see here, we have uh, we try to detect operating system. If it's Linux, we essentially assign to this variable a different command for copying, browsing, and replacing. Uh, so for instance, uh, I remember that it was somewhere here. You could see that copy is actually going to be either um, X, uh, Excel, I believe, yeah, Excel, IB, or PB copy, depending whether we are executing just file on Mac or on Linux. Finally, recipes can have parameters. You can see here we are setting up kind cluster, and then the cluster name is a parameter that has a default value of control plane. We can overwrite it when we call the recipe. Uh, what I find super useful with just is this. Uh, higher order recipes or simply a recipe that references other recipes. So we can control the behavior, kind of stitch together uh, the behavior however we want. Uh, so at the end, it's just one recipe uh, and very simple just setup would essentially go and execute those recipes in sequence. All right, let's talk about a little bit more advanced topics. Uh, so. You can see here we have actually a shebang. So this is something that is very useful because just by default executes each line in a subshell unless you want to use a script. Now we are using a shebang for bash, but we, we could also use shebang for Z shell, Python, and other. So you can kind of have a file that mixes uh, various programming languages or scripting languages, and then you can have it all at a glance. Uh, I like this um, way of doing it because it's much easier to maintain uh, and develop. Um, a really neat feature of Just is command evaluation. If you put a command and assign it the the result of a command to the variable, and you put it in in uh, backticks, then in each run, just will evaluate um, the command that is in backticks and assign a value to the variable, in our case, date suffix. Let's give it a try. So here we have added at the end the date suffix variable, and we assign the value of echo, echo test and then the date uh, formatted. And then when we call the add suffix recipe, let's actually do this. Just add suffix you could see that it actually appended today's date um, to the result so it's very useful if you want to have some randomness or dates or you know pull um, data from files uh, whatever you want um, it makes it much more powerful another useful feature are just scripts uh, so if you on top of your just file if you add this shebang then just will recognize this as a script and you can actually run it using just and then you can reference here a specific recipe this is taken this is my alias i'm using it to create a, a again cross plane environment and this has been really really useful because i can independently create those aliases and um, i can work with it uh, like this uh, another Cool feature is an interactive mode. I cannot show it here because this environment doesn't have FZF installed. But if you have FZF installed, you can actually use this dash dash 
two slug and then just will show all the recipes available within the file that you're pointing to and then you will be able to execute them. Right, so that's it. We have barely scratched the surface of Just. It's an amazing project. As I said before, I add Just file to almost all my projects. It's almost, you can think of it as having an executable readme file. So as you go on and develop your project and you find yourself needing to deploy something or test, uh, you typically would put it into a readme. You can put it in a just file and you can document it with a comment. And then you have an actual executable piece of code that self-documented. Um, as I said before, just project is awesome. Community is really friendly. Uh, you can check the official documentation, uh, which is actually in the form of a, of a book. Uh, as you can see, there's lots more feature that we have covered, um, and uh, you can use it. Um, you, you can you can read it and learn about it. It's really uh, well done and um, well done documentation, full of uh, great info. You can join community on Discord, ask questions, get help. You can use this um, interactive scenario uh, to continue. Um, playing around with Jazz and, and uh, testing it. Uh, and if you want some inspiration, you can check the um, examples or you can check some of my repositories as most of them have Jazz file. All right, that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Happy orchestrating and see you in the next video.